Hello YouTube, this is that Yi guy. Today I have for you a guide on the Masterpiece Collection System in Lost Ark. Masterpieces is a collectible that you can go around and get from different sources. And once you collect them all, you can start cashing them out for things like 3k gold, 5k gold, 8k gold, and then 13k gold, along with very good rewards like Way Card and the Legendary Judgment Room. Along with this video, I'm gonna have this text document where I kinda go over the stuff and you can use it to reference different things, uh, different ways to get certain masterpieces. To start off, let's check how many masterpieces you already have. So you can go to the bottom right and click collectibles, or you can press Alt plus L to pull up this menu. Once you're here, you can click on the masterpieces and this right here will show you how many you already have. So you can click on the reward information. You'll see that you have certain ones unlocked. And if of course you're going for these big rewards right here, and if you have them unlocked and just click view location, it will show you where the vendor is. And the vendor is gonna be on Sunflower Island, which is gonna be a very easy sailing uh, distance away from North Fern. Now, if you hover over these different pictures, it will tell you which ones you already obtained and which ones you still need to go and obtain. All of them will come from different methods. You can see it's a pretty big variety. Some of them you had to purchase, some of them you simply collect. So you could go by the number here, or you could just go and follow certain steps. You probably already have some from these three different contents here. So if we take a look at tower uh, and go to the first tower, the Shade Spire on the floor 25, the reward would be a masterpiece. If you do Dimension and Cube with tier three, you will have a chance to get potentially all five of the masterpieces. If you do a lower tier, you can only have less of the selection. For the boss rush, you do not see the masterpieces here, but the very last five chests you can get from the boss force will get you a masterpiece potentially. Another source of masterpieces you might already have is going to be from Chaos Gate. Now the gates themselves, as you can see, do not give you masterpieces directly, but they do give you what are called secret maps. So whenever you do a secret map, you're going to have a chance to get certain masterpieces. Next up, there are nine pieces that you can potentially get from Adventure's Tomb. So Adventure's Tomes is something you can access from the bottom right. You can go to uh, Adventure and then go Adventure's Tome, or you can press N to pull up the menu. So if we take a look at here, uh, in Punica, for example, there's one you can get at 40%. I have already done quite a lot of the content and I push every continent to at least 40. If you have done the dungeons already, you already made progress. If you collected any of the collectibles, that's already progress as well. Alternatively, you can do the secret quest for virtual and the progress, or you can just kill certain monsters with a claws and crown symbol on top of their head. If you want a more thorough guide, I would just simply Google and then look for the maxroll.gg guide for the different continent. Next up are the purchasable ones. So the two are very easy. One of them requires 3,600 Gilna coins, and the one of them requires 3,300 Gilna coins. I have previously made a guide on the sailing coins where I go over where you can get certain coins, and I even have a document for that. So please feel free to reference my older video. You can go to Navigator Rosa on Blackfang Sting or Merchant Favaro on Starlight Isle you simply can go and purchase those two masterpieces. If you ever lost on the sea map, you can always search. So Blackfang Stand, for example, you can just simply type in the search bar. It will tell you exactly where you need to go. There's one that's more difficult. It's uh, one that you can purchase for 10,000 pirate coins from New Vernese Exploration Ship. As I explained in my notes, they have different stocks. So every hour uh, at the hour marks, for example, right now the time is 519 where I am at five it would have spawned already and they will stay around for half an hour If you want to find them yourself, you will have to go to all the following locations Goblin Island, Hypnos Eye, Gravis, Nihilotops, Thoughts, Eternity Isle or Subline Island 
you can search them uh, on the C map and simply go through and try to find the correct ones. But the stocks are potentially different every time you find them. And if you don't find them on a certain channel, for example, if you go to Goblin Island, it's worth it to switch channels because every channel will have a different location for this specific ship. Now, the, the more difficult one is purchasable from Stronghold Merchant Leone for 4,275 rate seals. If you watch my Stronghold videos, you know that there are trade merchants that come to your Stronghold. You do not have access to this specific merchant by default. What you need to do is that you need to go complete North Vern Adventures Tome to 70%. At 70%, you will get Vern Royal Merchant Guild's invitation. So what you want to do is you want to take this item, it will go into your inventory, you simply use it, and then the quest will ask you to talk to that NPC. And once you do, you start having a chance for that NPC to appear in your hideout. Now the last one that's purchasable is going to be from Atropos Black Merchant. Now he's a little tricky to find, so you want to make sure you have 30,000 pirate coins on you whenever you go looking for him. He's located on Atropos and actually southeast of a map in a hidden area. Because he's so annoying to find, I find it's worth it to set a Bifrost for him. And then whenever I feel like it, whenever I have the time and a Bifrost is available, I will simply teleport just to quickly check if he's there. But um, to actually get to this location, you just go run down uh, to this part of a dock and then you jump over and you'll be right where. Another way to get masterpieces is actually through Una's task. Easiest way to do it is simply go to reputation status, go to items and then search masterpiece. Now this will just pull up all six that you're looking for. Click on these and then you'll be able to accept the quest that gives you the masterpiece on this interface as well. If you have high enough eye level on your ult, you can also do these on your ult. And the other rewards are also quite worth it. Last but not least, there are multiple collectibles where you can get uh, masterpieces as well. But that is going to be the hardest way to get the masterpieces. So the very last few pieces will be very difficult. I recommend you kind of follow the order I have listed here to kind of just go through and just do them and grab the easy ones first from all these consistent content and go for the later ones after. If we go to the Island Souls, you'll see that in the reward section, there is a masterpiece you can get right here for 30 Island Token. And the next one is from 55 and 75. Giant's Heart, if we go over here, you can see that at nine pieces, you can get one masterpiece, and at 11 pieces, you're gonna get access to the other one. There's a relatively easier to get one from World Tree Leaves. Sea Bounties, there's also two pieces for grab. So yeah, that's pretty much it for masterpieces. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful, wonderful day.